Hi everyone, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a rustic apple tart using one of my favorite ingredients, the magical puff pastry that I always have in my refrigerator. Let in my freezer actually. Let's go over the ingredients and then we're gonna get started. So we need one piece of puff pastry. You wanna make sure you thaw it and then leave it refrigerated so it's nice and cold. For the glaze, we're gonna have apricot jam and a little bit of water. We need three apples. Um, this is a giant apple. You need, we're gonna need anywhere between two or three, so let's see how it goes. We're, an egg, we're gonna use the yolk just for the wash. A little bit of salt, ground cinnamon, sugar, some melted butter, and a little bit of lemon juice. So we're going to juice this lemon and we're just going to use a little bit of it because it's going to freshen everything up. Citrus just adds a lot of bright flavors so it's a fall pie, there's going to be some cinnamon and warm tones. Having a little bit of lemon in it will just brighten it up and it'll just be in the background and make it even more delicious. This is a really simple apple tart to make. I, this is my go-to dessert all around the year, not just in the fall, because it comes together so quickly, so easily. I always have puff pastry in my freezer. I usually always have apples, so if anybody pops in and I don't have anything to make, any, anything that's all ready, ready prepared, I either go and make my pommiers, which are also super quick, and I'll link up in the card section, or I'll whip up this apple tart and it's ready in under an hour. I'll make a cup of tea for everyone, and. Everyone is really happy at the end of it. So we're just going to peel and core these apples and slice them to between an eighth of an inch uh, and a quarter inch thickness. And it's really easy to do. So we're just going to use a knife and a peeler. And I don't, have, I don't have a fancy quarter or anything like that. So really what I do is I just cut down the center and then I take a smaller knife and I do just like everyone's mom and grandmother used to do before all these gadgets took over. I just cut out the core with a knife. Really easy. If you have a core, then this is the time you're going to want to use it. Take it out and put it to good use. But my mom honestly never even used a cutting board. She did everything like this by hand. My, mo my husband's mom, which is my mother-in-law, also does it the same way. So then just take the knife and just cut some thin slices of apple and do that with all of the apples, putting them in a big bowl. So the apples are all sliced and this is what they should look like. Again, you don't have to take out a ruler and measure, but they should just be fairly thin, just like this. Not paper thin, but anyway, you get the, point, the picture. So we're going to pour the melted unsalted butter on top. And I used Granny Smith apples and um, a Gala apple. You can use any apples you have at home. They're going to be, they're going to work perfectly fine. And then we're going to put the sugar and some lemon juice. and a little pinch of salt. Here it is, just a quarter teaspoon. Put all of this aside. Oops, and I forgot the cinnamon. We're gonna put a nice full teaspoon of cinnamon because cinnamon and apples is, you all know it, a match made in heaven. Now we're just going to mix this all up. And just like that, our apple tart filling is ready to go. Now we're gonna take our puff pastry sheet, and I'm gonna create a border. So I'm just gonna create a border by taking the knife and cutting halfway down the puff pastry. Don't go all the way down. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make a nice puffy border, basically that's what we're doing, like a nice crust, just like that. Then we're gonna dock the pastry on the inside, which basically means we're just gonna pierce it with a fork all around, so that way the bottom or the center part doesn't rise and it kinda of stays flat. That's it. Now we're going to layer the apples on top. Before we layer the apples, we're just going to make a little egg wash that we're going to brush around the edges of the tart to, <clears throat> to make the edges and the crust nice and golden. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to this. There we go. We're just using the egg yolk and a little bit of water. And I'm just going to go all around. And this is going to make the crust beautifully golden. There we go. Now we're just going to layer the apples. We 
have it. The apple tart is ready for the oven. I do have some extra apples on the side, which I'm going to enjoy as a snack later on. But I'm going to pop this in my oven. It's preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to check on it after 45 minutes. It should be ready between 45 minutes to an hour. You'll know it's ready when everything is beautifully nice and golden. So the tart was ready in 55 minutes, and it baked at 350 degrees. Don't worry if you see some of the sugar um, leak out and caramelize and burn on the parchment. That's okay. That's why it's important that you do line your baking tray with parchment paper so that way you don't have to clean that mess up you know afterwards it's a lot of hard work I just rather take the paper and throw it in the garbage now we're just gonna make the glaze that's gonna go on top and that's gonna be just apricot about a quarter cup of your favorite apricot jam and we're just gonna thin it out with some really hot water you can do this in the microwave just combine the two and then uh, heat them up a little bit and mix them up and then they'll just melt and come together or you could do it over the heat in a little pot I just put mine in this little Greek coffee pot right here and I'm just going to mix it until it's all nice and smooth and combined. So I'm just going to transfer this onto my <coughs> cutting board. I love to serve at whatever I can on cutting, board, cutting boards. I feel like it just makes it look more rustic, more homey, and very beautiful. So this is going to add a beautiful glaze on top. An apricot and apple go very nice together. We used an apricot glaze at the cafe whenever we had it and we would just glaze any fruit that would go on top of cakes or cheesecakes or any dessert and it just makes it taste so much better. So you could be generous with this, that's fine. Put as much as you'd like on it. If you wanted to, <clears throat> before you put it in the oven, in between the apples you could put some cranberries or some raisins, even a few walnuts. I would probably be careful with the walnuts because they might burn. Uh, from baking in there for so long exposed. So you could also toast some walnuts and just sprinkle the walnuts and then sprinkle them on top. Look at how beautiful that is. Such a simple and easy to prepare dessert. Serve this alongside some ice cream, some homemade vanilla whipped cream, and you'll have a dessert that is just delicious. I'm not going to cut into this right now because I'm taking it to my friend's house. I'm going over there for dinner and I always like, I never like to go there empty handed. So I am going to bring this apple tart to them. So you guys go on over to the website www.demetriusdishes.com. Get this recipe, make it, save it because it's going to be a good one for Thanksgiving. Comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you would like to learn how to make next. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.